Meet Captain Euro. The way Captain Euro looks as if he would. People can identify with very easily. Captain Euro. Captain Euro. Captain Euro. So determined. Let us take the Captain Euro. He named the top. Be as an amnesty. The unity of Europe against its enemy. Mamoru, super hero. Captain Euro and his friends. Captain Gantil. Everyone. Meet Captain Euro. Superhero and super salesman for the single currency. Captain Euro has been devised to promote the idea of a European superpower. Power for good. We want to be a light-hearted, commercial, and entertaining approach to Europe. Not uh, the people are rejecting these approaches of political discussion. They're not interested. It's boring. We're making Europe fun and entertaining. That's our objective. We have, uh, I think, arrived at the perfect time because obviously Captain Euro is trying to also communicate the value of the European currency. Captain Euro, his partner Europa, upholders of the security and values of the Union. The threat division caused, you guessed it, by evil speculators led by Dr. D. Vider. Obviously his name says it all. He's trying to divide Europe uh, to the detriment of its citizens. He goes to uh, museums and steals works of art because he's an avid collector. If he thinks uh, that uh, today we're going to create a currency crisis because I can make money, he'll do it. Nothing about Europe with which people could identify. The aim was to explain Europe in a way they could understand it, to create a friendly icon of Europe. It had to appeal to as many as 15 different nationalities. The people of Europe get their chance to judge when the animated version of the comic strip is released on the internet. The concept of Europe is too complicated, it's too big, there's too many institutions, there's too many dates. There's too many things going on. The public cannot follow all this. We had made it into a grassroots, light-hearted concept that people can finally understand. A particularly inventive site has been designed by a company based in Britain. It features a character called Captain Euro. The superhero defends the interests of the Euro and the unity of Europe against its enemies. Through a string of adventures, he aims above all to win over the Eurosceptics. So when will we have euro coins and bills? A partir del 1 de enero del 2002. As of January 1st, 2002, we will have euros in our pockets. There is no doubt that the sheer size of the European economy could push the euro onto the world stage on a par with the dollar. The euro, I think, is going to be a very credible currency. There will certainly be substantial portfolio inflows into Europe. A functioning euro, bringing Europe even more united than it is now, and uh, more coherent in political structure. Europe is, a, is perceived by the public as a distant, uh, boring concept, and uh, I think that's, um, that's a tragedy. I think Europe is a great concept, but it's very badly sold to the people.